How's it going everyone? It's Artifact. Did you know that you could simply just sidechain your sub in Vital? I kind of never really even thought about this, but let's have a little listen to this sub. So I was just trying to uh, come up with some new sound design ideas today. I was having a little bit of a tough day creating something really, really cool. So I just decided to make a new sub bass and yeah, I made like three different sine waves and they're all pitched at three different octaves. So we have our lowest one, then a kind of medium one, and then a higher one. And with the low one, I've left it in mono, and the medium one, I've put some th three voices with some unison spread. And the bottom one, the, the high pitched one, we have seven voices and a bit more unison spread. And on each of these, I've put on this smear wavetable setting. So we actually, you know, bend the wavetable a little bit. And for each, uh, oscillator I'm smearing the amount at a different speed so this first one has this LFO 1 which, which is at this 1 1 dotted and then LFO 2 for oscillator 2 uh, is just a normal 1 bar and then oscillator 3 is 1 bar but in triplets so if you kind of see here the speed at which they're moving you know the first one's going slowly second one's going a bit faster third one's going a little bit more faster and yeah this kind of just uh means that they're all a bit different they're all moving so we have like a bit of interesting movement going on you know between all the sine waves already so it just makes the bass have a bit of movement to it basically so if we come over to the effects as well i've just put on like a really quite heavy like low pass filter which goes up and down and this is going at the same speed as the LFO one which is like the slowest movement so if we watch it so it kind of opens up and closes again but it kind of always has these kind of low sub frequencies still in there like they're kind of kind of staying in there and what I've done also is I've put on like a really heavy distortion uh, on the uh, as you if we listen to it here without the filter just really bringing up those harmonics and because we're running the filter uh, first it's just like kind of boosting those mid-range frequencies and I have actually tracked this drive to the LFO in the opposite direction so when the filter opens up the drive comes down so we don't get so much of that harsh like high frequencies from the distortion and now we're ready to move on and sidechain the sub to our kicks so obviously if you had like a really complex kick pattern it would be a, li a little bit more difficult but we just want to make rollers in it so if we're just making rollers then we can just draw in like the kick here where the kicks are so to do this I've just tracked the LFO4 up to the volume here and that's all we're going to do because sometimes volume shaping is just more effective than doing sidechain compression because you can be more precise so we just drag the volume all the way down to zero or minus 80 which is basically zero and then we turn it up on the LFO so the when the LFO here is at the top then we're, we're at the volume that we want so we have to just get it right here to make sure like the top of the LFO is going to be our maximum volume for the sub and then we can just draw in these little curves uh, it's on one bar so you know I have two kicks per bar one here and if I just play my kicks so we'll have one right at the beginning obviously and then one on this like offbeat for the you know the two-step rhythm and what this allows us also to do is we can you know shape the exact volume curve and then we can also make them a little bit different this is a little pro tip so if you have your first kick coming out here your second one you could alter the speed of it for example you could have less of a side chain or more of a side chain and this will give a bit of dynamic contrast in your overall groove so let's say i want quite a big side chain at the beginning and then just a little a smaller one over here now i'm pretty happy with that so obviously if my kick pattern was changing i would have to make alterations here but already just for this 
loop section you know i could bounce out this sub right here and i've got you can kind of see the uh the volume dips are sort of perfectly aligned to match with my kicker edit so we don't have that clashing between the sub and the kick it's very very tight and clean yeah i hope that's a helpful tip for you guys as always, feel free to check out my Patreon if you want to support me. And also, if you know anyone that wants to do one-on-one -on -one production sessions, I do them every week and I have spaces for a few more students still. So feel free to email me at info at artfactmusic.com uh, to book your session. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wicked day. I'll be back tomorrow with some more sound design vids. Peace.